weird. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're going to continue our 10 year series, the doing of the 10 year series. I think we stopped at question 14 the last week. So we're going to continue. I, I think we are done with this. I think we are done with this question. Just finish with it, yeah. So uh, I, I don't remember if I did 15. Did I do 15? Uh, sorry, did I do 15? This one, the sketching of this graph. Anyone you remember? I remember the, I remember this one. Uh, the bearings, okay? But I don't remember about this. Sketching, right, anyone, anyone? Did I, did I do this? If not, then I'll just continue. Uh, I think you did. Sorry, did I do I this think one? You, I think I, you did. I did, huh? Okay, end shape, huh? so this one is fine. Move on. Okay, this one confirm never do. 16. I don't remember doing any circle stuff. Huh? Have you all done this paper, by the way? No. No, uh, Ethan, eh? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so uh, HBL, do you all do exam papers? HBL? Not possible, right? Possible. Uh, huh? How? How how are you gonna do the exam paper if it's if it's home based learning or study yourself? We got the like the compilation of the past year exam paper. Oh, I see, I see. So but but how do they check? It's impossible, right? Oh um, we scan our work. Then, oh, then the yeah. teacher mark. I see. Okay, can. Okay. Yeah, so that that's good, lah, right? At least you're doing something. You know what I've been doing all day long? Eat. Lah. I've been eating a lot. How about you? <laughs> have you been eating a lot? Uh, Ethan, have you been eating a lot? Yes. Yes, Jin Because, I don't know what. I can't go out. What, what else to do? So I walk around the house and, hey, got food. Take. You see, I just took some more stuff. This is uh, fruits, right? It's food everywhere. I mean, you see, you just take a piece. Uh, potato chip everywhere. Yeah, I think I've gained a lot of weight. Anyway, back to our question, okay? So, so math, uh, we're going to continue here. So, T, A, T, B are tangents to a circle center O. Show that O, A, T and O, B, T are congruent. So, first of all, we need to remember what are the definition, what's the definition of uh, congruent? Uh, Ethan, how do you check something is congruent? I forgot. Hey, I forgot already. Uh. How about Emilia? How do you check congruence? Angle. Angle. Ah, uh, just one angle. <clears throat> oh. It's just one angle. Two okay. angle? Huh? Okay, do you, do you remember the A A S all this stuff? S A S SSS, RHS. Okay, all these are rules for uh, congruency. Yeah? So, so this one, let's just take a look at this particular example. So we have a tangent here. Now, because this is a tangent, this, this side is definitely 90 degrees. Okay, so this side is definitely 90 degrees. Why? Because we have a radius and this is a radius, right? So uh, I think we should look at RHS. R H S, okay, as the basis uh, for our theory. So first of all, um, I already have one one angle, okay, which is the R. The R, right? Why? Because this is a tangent, and this is radius. So tangent to radius, radius to tangent, right? Always forms ninety degrees. So I got the R part, okay. Okay, so uh, what else? I have the S, right? Because the side, uh, this one is equal to this one because both are radius. Okay, both are radius. So they are equal. Then after that, I have this, this, this side. They are the same. They both share the same. They both share the same length because it is the same length. Their hypotenuse are the same. So therefore, according to RHS, 
right? The rule RHS, uh, it is congruent, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so there's three marks. Eh? So on the diagram, mark the two possible points P. So point P lies on the circumference of the circle so that APT is congruent to BPT. APT is congruent to BPT. What the two possible positions for P? APT. Okay, where can P be? P, uh, the two possibilities. P can be here. Okay, this part. Right, P can also be here. This part. That's all. There's, there's, there's nothing much. Do you need to explain? Yeah, the, uh, we, we don't have to explain, just one mark. Okay, so this diagram actually quite okay. All right, uh, any questions for this? It's congruent. Any any questions, anyone? No, 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 easy. Okay, thanks. Oh, God. <coughs> okay, I think we can see this. So the distance time graph shows the journey for two people, Nor and Lin, between the villagers. Find Nor's speed for the first half of her journey. Okay, what is Nor's speed for the first half? Okay, I'll try this one. And then we can check and see how. Okay. So this is a distance time graph. In a distance time graph, the gradient will be the speed. So no speed for the first hour. Uh, I, zoom in bigger. No speed for the first hour. So it's 10 to 11. Okay, any, any answers for this? Anyone? Anybody get it? Any answer for this? Get it? Any answer for this? Um. Yeah. You want to find the speed. Speed is the gradient, I'm just kidding. Let's find the gradient. Do you need me to zoom in? 3.8. 3.8, no. Okay, we zoom in a bit, all right? Zoom in. All right, so uh, let's take a look here. Now the first hour, it cuts here, okay, at this point. So this is somewhere here. So what we want to do is to figure out how, what's, what's the gap over here, right? So over here, there are 10 gaps. 10 gaps means, <coughs> from zero to four is 10 gaps. That means one gap is 0 0.4. Right, so each gap is 0 0.4. So if you have a reading here, this will be 3.6. Okay, because you the reading here, right? So the reading here is 3.6. That means you minus uh you take four minus take away 0 0.4, right? So it's 3.6. So within the first hour, uh you know, because because the the gradient to find the gradient we take rise over run. 
So it's 3.6 divided by 1. The answer is just 3.6. So first answer, 3.6. Okay, next. Find the time when no and Lin pass each other. So this is pretty easy. The time is, uh, we find the cross section, okay, which is over here. So, so we need to find a gap. You see, 12 to 1 is, this one is somewhere here. Okay, this, this gap here. So uh, it's a gap of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. So each, each gap, right? Because there are, uh, it's total 60 minutes. Eh? So each gap is actually 6 minutes, right? So here to here will be 12. 24. How come? Because the gap here, there are six. There are six gaps over there. Okay? So that's quite okay. Move on. Oops. Right, so the time is 12, 12, 24. 12, 24. Okay, how far are they from village B when they pass each other? Uh, where's village B? <clears throat> okay, try this one. How far are they from village B when they pass each other? Distance. Okay, are you able to see the graph or is it too tiny? Okay, I think I think I think I do lah because a bit too small, right? I don't know if you all print out or can see or not. Okay, so here uh we need to find out what's the distance here because that's village B. Okay, village B is here. Village B is right here. So we need to know what's the distance, right? Then after that we need to know what is the distance. That means we need to Dot, 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 find out what's the distance here, right? So let's let's see what's the distance, okay? So the distance here is actually let's see, six point eight. This one six point eight. Yeah, six point eight. All right. Yeah, it's somewhere here. Then after that, B part B here at the top, right? Is 14.8. So if this is 6.8, this is 14.8, we want to find a distance just minus, right? So 14.8 take away 6.8 minus 6.8. Uh, we get 8. Uh. <clears throat> so the answer is 8 kilometer. Next. So link jog back to village B at 8 kilometer per hour. Change 8 km per hour into meters per second. Ah, okay, I think this you can do. I give it a try. Everyone can do this, okay? Uh, do you know how to do? And then when I try, try. How many marks is this? One mark. Simple question. Do this. And tell me the answer once you're done.
Go ahead and let me know, all right? Anyone? Anybody? Is it very loud, by the way? Is this okay? The volume? Okay, right? Yeah, acceptable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. What? What's, wait, uh, she still have, uh, what do you call that? Piano lessons now? Huh, no. Self practice. Yes. Uh, what is a grade? Uh? Grade what? Do you know? Seven or eight. Oh, grade eight is the maximum, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I think grade eight is maximum. She professionally. Yeah. Do you, how about you? You play piano as well? Uh, used to. Used to. Why? Why no more? Lost interest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you prefer to wash dishes, right? No. <laughs> uh, honestly, I prefer to wash dishes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to tell the truth, even if my mom asks me to go and play piano, I think I play for maybe one grade and I'll be like, I don't want to really. I'd rather play the electric guitar, right? Or the drums. I'm not too gentle. And, and, and you gotta buy such a big piano. Okay, any answers for this? Question C, Ethan seems that you are the only guy I see. Eh? I think you come back already. Alright, never mind, Ethan. What's the answer for this? <laughs> no, I only see his hair. I can see you. Uh, hey, why why you all wear sweater? Uh? Very cool, uh? is it? Wearing pajamas. Oh, you wear, oh, you are wearing pajamas. Jian Yu is, oh, you got an icon uh, directly behind your head. But you can adjust, right? Icon. Yeah. Uh, so you prefer cold la. Uh, of course la, right? We all prefer comfortable. I'm also in the aircon room, okay? Yeah. Wait, what about your pajamas? It got hoodie on uh? This uh, who? Ethan? No, I, I wore my hoodie over my pajamas, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Time for to sleep, right? So nice, huh? Why? But it's only 8 o'clock, eh? 8 o'clock wearing pajamas already? Seven, I, seven. I didn't five. change though. You didn't change. <laughs> Since what? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Power, give you one thumbs up. <laughs> I changed three times already today because I went out for a walk just now. So you didn't go out, like you're like, you totally listen to the government instructions, stay at home. Like you stay at home. Did you even get out of your room? Oh yeah, once in a while. <laughs> once in a while. You know you are stuck in your room. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. All right. You totally they should give you a warning huh, to um following the rules to the T, right? Good. Huh? So because you don't even interact with your family members, right? So you confirm won't get the virus. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I'm just kidding, right? I'm always joking. Okay. Uh so anyway, <laughs> I was asking about your answer, right? Do you have an answer for C? 2.22. Ah, very good. Okay, so 2.22 will be the decimal answer. If best, 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 right? If you can leave it as a fraction. Okay, if you can leave it as a fraction, you it will be much better. So how do we do this? Uh, I'll just write down. So eight kilometers is actually okay. Eight kilometer per one hour. It's actually eight thousand. Yeah meters divided by 60 seconds okay so this is what i want to do uh, we want to convert the km to meter and the hour to second and we should get uh, sorry no, it's not 60 la, 3600 okay so we should get two whole and two over nine meters per second okay so that would be the answer for our class C. Okay, so this this type of conversion is very useful even for um even for your physics uh, if you're taking physics, right? They they like to do this a lot. Next. Okay, these are easy ones really. So can you all try and write down your answer? I don't know if you are able to annotate. Try and see if you can annotate. Just just write your answers over here. 
Okay, try it, try it. Different color, never mind, right? Just try P intercept R, this element is R, and just underline the correct statements from the list below. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> try and annotate, okay? Ethan, do you plan to change the pajamas? Mm -hmm. Do you plan to change the pajamas tonight? <laughs> that means you haven't bathed tonight, eh? today. Eh? Is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the brother sleeping with you in the same room? No. Uh, no, okay, uh, then never mind, uh, never mind, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, once you're done, just write down, write down the answers, uh, list the elements in R, write it down into the, you know, whatever space, okay? There's no working here, it's just writing down answer, okay? So you write down and then we check and see how it goes. Uh, if you cannot entertain, you let me know. You just say all the answer I'll write for you. Uh, if you cannot entertain, let me know. I'll write down for you. If you can, please have a thumb, okay? Just gonna write down. Choose the different colors. How come got two? Uh? The number is four to sixteen. Oh. Right. See. Uh, epsilon. Right. X. The numbers are between four and sixteen. Yeah. So cannot have one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Okay, just, just try uh, part one, part two, right? Write your answer somewhere, right? Don't worry, I'll be able to see who. Uh, and then B as well, you gotta underline the correct statement from the list. <laughs> I'm gonna go on hard shape one. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, underline as well, the uh, part B as well, just going to underline. Okay, finish. How about how about B underline? Nobody want to underline the correct statement from the list. The B. Nobody want to underline first. So uh, we see one other line, right? So I'm gonna just start right now. Okay, so let's take a look at the first first one, part one. So list the elements in R. R are um, factors of 30. Now, this is correct, this is correct, this one is not correct. Because you cannot put 30, the number is between four and 16. So any number that's above 16 is wrong, right? So 30 is wrong. Now, uh, P intersect R, so P intersect R, yeah, you're right, it's five. Okay, all three correct. Now we have the last one. So underline the correct statements from the list below. So R intersect Q is now. We have the 16, okay, this E thing means it's not an element. 16 is not an element of P. So P is for prime numbers, right? P is the prime number, so this is definitely correct because 16 is not a prime number. Uh, what's, what's the opposite of prime? What's the name that's opposite of prime number? What's the opposite of prime number? Anyone? Non-prime? No, it, it starts with the letter C. Anybody knows? Nobody. Eh? Composite. Eh? Right? Composite number. Okay, so composite numbers are non-prime numbers. Now, uh, this is correct, but there is there, there are more than one statement that's correct. This is correct as well. R intersect Q is not now. Why? Because R factors of 30, Q multiple of 4. Uh, wait, R intersect Q is not equal to now. Ah, sorry, it's equal to now. There's no intersection between R and Q. Okay, okay. Okay, so can you, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, are, are we all okay with this? A, part one, part two, and B, right? These are unmarked questions, uh. one, two, four marks. We gotta get them all correct, okay? Now, if you don't know this 
this this one uh, most of the time it has got to do with the sign that means you don't really understand what the this this thing means uh, Amelia do you know what this means intersect very good what does intersect mean oh uh, that means both of them got similar number overlap uh, overlap right you what does this mean this sign what does this mean union Union, uh, what's the meaning of union? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You didn't even go through <laughs> this. You see, I purposely asked it because do you remember last time we went through this? It took a while to go through. Okay, uh this uh who uh Jin, you can you explain what's union? Run. What's the meaning? Huh? Union, mm. what's the meaning? You you, what's the meaning of union? What's the meaning? Use your own word. Oh. Oh. oh uh together, together together right uh like if it's a union b that means a together with b together i want a and b together uh emilia do you understand yes together uh, so if it's r union p r that means i want r together with p together all the elements inside okay so clear we Oh, sorry, clear all. All right, again, so let's continue. Okay, this simple ratio question, um, I think you can do as well, okay? Oh, okay, this is a P6 question. Uh. You all must know how to do no? <laughs> P6 max problem sound. Okay, can you all try and do? This will be interesting. It's four marks. It's a P6 max problem sound. Typical P6 math from some, but appearing as a set for O levels E math question. Uh, this will be fun, okay? Here, yeah, try. Ratio of the pen. Primary six and all. P six cause this uh difference unchanged. I need to take attendance. Take a picture. Uh, any answer, anyone? And Karen, you can PM me, private message. Yes, get a river C. You know the chat, there's a chat function. So you can PM me your message, okay? So don't PM to everyone, uh, just PM direct private message, right? So I can see what's your answer. I can tell you right or wrong. Okay, first, but <laughs> uh, okay, lah, guy, First participant, uh huh, alamak. 
wrong. First first answer, first person who sent me is wrong. <laughs> I won't say who I first first person sent me wrong. 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 P6 all the P6. What's your brother doing? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, he try, he, he's trying to flex his uh, army army body. Army yeah. body. Uh, just fin of course uh, just finish army, mm -hmm. right? Ask him 30 years later how. <laughs> flex the belly, right? Tung, see who has the bigger belly, huh? Okay, how any more answer? First answer that came in is wrong, sorry. Wait, are you able to see? Can okay, I right, cannot see right? Uh first one wrong, uh, first one wrong. Uh it's not fifty-one something something, okay? Fifty-one point four three is wrong. How any okay, second one message me already. Forty five also wrong. Oh no, let's go back P6 though. <laughs> 45 is wrong. Left, if no. left one survivor. Uh, 60 is wrong. <laughs> oh my god, a wiener. There's a wiener. Uh, so the, whoever yeah. sent me. 60 is wrong, eh? 45 wrong, eh? 51.43 wrong, right? Eh? Uh, so the person who sent me that, you are correct. If you never send me 60, 45, and 51.43, uh, you are correct. Okay, I won't say who this. Yeah, but you can see who laughing already. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's let's give them two more minutes, right? To redeem themselves, no? The P6 question. Those who got wrong. Stress or not, those will go wrong. P6, eh? four marks. Eh? So uh, at set four, what are we supposed to do? I'll give you a tip, right? You can use simultaneous equation. One tip is you can use simultaneous equation because here you have two equations, right? There's two persons, each one has got its own equation. And uh, the outcome is also different, okay? so. One possibility is a simultaneous equation. Oops. One possibility, simultaneous. Uh, actually, that's what you're supposed to do, I think, from the set force point of view. <clears throat> they, I think they want you to do simultaneous. Let me see. Yeah, they want you to do simultaneous. Okay, one more minute, one more minute, and then we'll review who's the winner. <laughs> I think very good. Yeah, 30 seconds left. Serious, uh, this is uh, an actual P6. I mean, it's not actual P6 question, but it's a P6 format, right? They call this before and after difference and change. Why? Because the difference doesn't change. <clears throat> the difference between N and band is the same. Before and after, right? Before and after is the same. Okay, so it's called before and after difference and change. But of course, we use these sort of terms for P6 students. Uh. Set for just say, I uh, use simultaneous. Okay, you can use simultaneous to help you solve this particular question. Last 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, fair. Right. Who is the winner? Raise your hand. 
Raise your hand. Huh? Nobody raise your hand. Yes. Okay. Only Ethan got this correct. He's worthy of his PSLE certificate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding, right? So now this question, uh, if you didn't use simultaneous equation, it's going to be a bit hard because it's mind boggling. <clears throat> what do you mean by mind boggling? First, you have a ratio 75. Then after they have a ratio 3, 2. Now, one thing you must know is that the one unit here is not equal to one unit here. It's different. So a lot of people will have uh, mixed up. They mixed up, right? They thought one unit here is one unit here. Uh, some people will just go and add them together. Or you add them together. And then you'll be like, ah, it doesn't make sense. Okay, now this question is uh, called difference unchanged. What do you mean by difference unchanged? The difference between N and Ben doesn't change. Okay, one more time. Uh, the difference between N and Ben doesn't change. Why? Because both spend $60. So if both of them spend $60, the difference doesn't change. Okay, let me show you how we can easily use a P6 method to do this. So we have A is to, oops, is to B. At first is 7 is to 5. Okay, so this is initial. Now, what is the difference? I want to set up another category, right? What's the difference? So 7 minus 5 is 2. The difference is 2. Now, both of them take away $60 minus $60. You left with 3 is to 2. Now, the difference here is 1. But the problem here is that both their difference shouldn't change. That means I need to make this into 2, right? So this whole thing got a double, right? So become four is to six. Okay, so can you see that? Now I have four is to six and then I can compare uh, before and after. So before that I have seven unit minus 60 and left six unit. Likewise for B, at first I have five unit minus 60 left four. So very clearly I know one unit represent $60. Okay. So if one unit is 60, uh, the question is how much money does N have now in her account? She has this amount, which is 6. So 6U360. See that? Okay, so the answer is $360 and our Ethan has got it correct. Now Ethan, which method did you use to solve this? Uh, simultaneous? I found the two difference then times uh, two. Uh, okay, right. So difference. So so here, if you realize that is difference unchanged, uh, the difference doesn't change, right? You shouldn't change. Then you'll be okay. Now, if you want to use simultaneous, now how does it look like? Let me just write out the equation. So at first, seven is to five. So that means seven u minus sixty is equal to three parts. Then after that, 5u minus 60 as well is equals to two parts. Oh, I'm blocking the answer. There. Three. Okay, so can you see that? Equation one, equation two. Equation number one, equation number two. So go ahead and solve simultaneous, you will find u and p. That's it. Simple as that. Okay, so either method is fine. They don't really restrict you which method you can or cannot do. Okay, next. <clears throat> wow. Okay, next, I think y'all can try as well. Question number 20. Uh, we look at the first one, right? So first one is two marks. It's the similar congruent thing. Uh, yeah. Right, similar and congruent thing. So the diagram shows two geometrically similar bottles. The diameter of the base is four. So this is this is linear. Linear is four. Diameter is this one is ten. The height is thirty. So they are similar, right? Calculate the height of the smaller bottle. Uh, yeah. Can you try? Give me the answer. PME yeah. Right? See how many get correct. Uh, nowadays, we must uh, take care of the students' emotional needs as well. Uh, right? 
The last time different one, though. The last time the teacher can call us stupid openly, or not. <laughs> hey, you stupid! You think you stupid thing? Wow. I, I get caught that a lot, but it's fine. Because we, we get it so often, right? It doesn't affect us at all. <laughs> now, now cannot, uh, must. So it's okay. You try again. Try again. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, PM me answer. Private message. Supposedly easy question, uh, this one. This is what happens when you have all boys at home. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I mean, do you have a brother? No. Nope. <laughs> okay. All boys is like that one, okay? Uh, let's get used to it, all right? Okay, you will never get used to it, it's fine. Uh, please forgive them, all right? <laughs> How oh, any any private message? How come it takes so long? Uh? this one should be very easy. Eh? Question. PM PM come. Okay, here comes participant number one. Wow, correct, lucky. Eh? Thanks. Oh, second one also correct. Waiting for the third seller. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, everyone got it correct, right? So the answer is 12. Very simple. Don't have to go through that. Yeah, I kind of like this game. Huh? It's like some contestant. <laughs> It's like a secret, what do you call that? Secret contestant or something like that. Okay, here we go. So we look at the next one. Now, there's, okay, this is going to be slightly more difficult. The small bottle has a capacity of 125. The manufacturer makes another geometrical similar bottle that holds 500, calculate the diameter of the base. So I want to give you a clue, right? This is capacity, is volume. They want to find the diameter. Volume, diameter, okay? Please do the question and PM me the number. So apart from Ethan, anybody else went out to the park or anything? Or even venture out of your house today? No. Really? Uh, stay at home? Yeah. Wow. Jin Yu, Jin Yu. Jin Yu, stay at home? Yeah, okay. Good, uh, good. Right. I only went out to buy food, right? Uh, but I went out, I, I still see quite a lot of people. A bit of people, right? So I'm not wearing masks. And then I went to pump petrol. The uncle was scolding all those not wearing masks. Yeah. <laughs> so uh beside me is another like 50 year old uncle. La. Then the petrol kiosk attendant is like 60 year old uncle. La. So the 50 year old uncle got scolded by the 60 year old uncle, right? Go and wear a mask. 
Why you never wear masks? Go and wear a mask. Then there's 50 year old uncle said, okay, okay, okay. I will wear a mask. Right, so some people still don't take it very seriously because uh, it hasn't affected anyone nearby. But but if anyone nearby canals, right, I guarantee you, it'll be full mask mode, right? Because suddenly you feel that it's very near to you. Before that, it's not so near, ma. That very far away. Okay, but I think the petrol kiosk uncle did a very good job, right? Because I wouldn't definitely I wouldn't be scolding the fifty year old uncle, right? Oops. Okay, let's take a look. Participant number one. We have first answer. Unfortunately, the person who sent me sixteen is wrong. Okay, try again. Okay, remember this is volume, okay? Volume. Then this is linear. Linear scale. Remember that linear scale, area scale, volume scale thing. Okay, you gotta Any other answers? Oh, correct answer has appeared. Yes. The person who just sent me, yes, you're correct. <laughs> who is it? Who is it? If I playing poker, blah, right? Uh, play blah. Poker face. Must keep a straight face. Uh. Who is it? All right. So I uh, one person has gotten it. So I need two more. Two more answers. Oh, second one also correct. So left one person. Left with one person. Okay, the last person will have the last 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Countdown. Last uh, 10 seconds. <clears throat> and we are, we are, we are done. Okay, Ken. Yeah, so the answer is 6.35. Okay, the answer for this is 6.35. Uh, two persons got it correct. So let me show you how, how to do this. So how to do this question? Now take note that uh you see the volume given here. Let me see. Uh, okay, blue color pen. So the volume here is cubic. It's cubic scale. That means you need to cube root this thing, right? So the ratio will actually be something like that. The um one hundred twenty five over five hundred 
we need to kill brood, kill brood. Oops. Okay, I, need, uh, I want to kill brood the whole thing, okay? Kill brood the entire thing. It should be equal to the four over the other, let's call it D, la, diameter. Right, so this should be the equation y because uh, in another words, right, this the cube of this, the cube of this, because it's linear, linear scale. So the cube of this will give me one two five five hundred, or you can look at it the other way. The cube root of this will give you uh, this number. So here right now, what we have is a equation with one unknown. So there's only one unknown d at this point of time. So how to solve this? I can cube both sides. Okay, so I cube both sides. I will get. Okay, let's continue from there. Uh, so one two five. Okay, one two five divided by five hundred is one quarter. So one out of four equals to four cube over d cube. So to find d cube. Is uh, four to the power of four. So four cube, four to the power of three, four times four, four hundred fifty-six. Right. So d is equal to. Oh yeah, no space. D equals to cube root two five six. Okay. So we get six point three five. All right. Okay, so this is cubic. Uh. Just remember the scale, right? The scale you gotta keep changing the scale. Area scale, linear scale, or uh even uh you know whatever scale, right? So we need to know this one. Okay, next. This is a matrix. Okay, let's try to do the matrix question. So represent this information in a three by two matrix. Wow, it's very lengthy. Okay, let's try and read this, right? The cause and sense call means one which must be Mean needs to print 29 black and white copies and X color copy. Three, okay, three times two means three rows, two columns. So three rows uh, would mean the people, uh, right? The three different persons, okay? So let me just write it out. For you, uh, that's bad. KMS. So row by row, three rows. Now they have to print black and white. So the first one will be twenty-four and fourteen. Okay, so that would be cool. Then after that, twenty-nine. Uh, X color because X, and then after that, 20 black and 15 color copies. Okay, so 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 I present that out for you. Uh, because I want to check your operation of matrix, so now you need to take P equals to Q times P, Q multiplied by P. Uh, so P is here. P is here, Q is here. Now, when you take matrix multiplication, you need to do row times column. You just remember row times column, okay? Now, can you all give it a try using your own uh, full scale one, right? Give it a try, see what you get.
Uh, you don't have to write out for me because it's a complicated, quite a complicated matrix. Uh. Right, just write, I think I just write out. So T is equals to Q. So Q is right there. It's 24, 29, 20, P. So P is 10, 40, 8. 45. Okay, so you gotta multiply them. Now, when you multiply them, you gotta remember row time column. That means this row times this column, this row times this column, this row times this column, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we try the first row, first column, first row, first column. Okay, so can you tell me first row, first column, what do I get? And then I'll write down. First row, first column. Row time column. What's the first answer? Just just tell me what's the answer. <clears throat> first row, first column. Ah, see whether you know how to do it. Or not. Row column. First row, first column. What is the answer that I should get? Row one, column one. Anybody? One column one. You can just press in the calculator. No, you don't have to do working on it. It's just, just, just the first number. First number. What's the first number? Row one, column one. Okay, Jamie, what's the first number? Eight hundred. Yes, eight hundred. Row one, column one. Okay, everybody knows how to get eight hundred. No. Okay, very good. I like your uh directness. Uh. How to get 800? Huh? How to get 800? You gotta take 24 times, uh, okay, we say row 1, column 1, right? So you take this times this plus this times this. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna write out separately what does it look like, okay? So it's 24. This is separate working, okay? So you know the what, what I'm talking about. 24 times 10 plus so row time column plus uh, 14 times 40. Okay, that is how we get 800. Okay, so you can try 240 plus 14 times 40. 800. Can? Okay. Uh, Emily, have you gone through this topic in school? Yes. Yeah, okay, so recap, huh? So this is a recap. Oh, God bless you. Right. No dangerous, huh? Okay, so you, you understand? Amelia, do you understand? Row time column. So Amelia, now you try the second one, the second digit here. What is the second digit here? So to get the second digit here, I need to take row one, column two. Row one, column two. This one times this one. Okay, can you give me the second digit? Okay. okay. Yeah. Hmm? What? 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 Yeah, you gotta do. Can you do? Yeah. Yeah, what was the answer? Uh, 822. Yeah, very good. 822. So it's 822. Okay, so that's the second one. 
Now for the second row, we see we have a row two, two column one. Okay, All right. Ethan, can you tell me what's row two column one? 490 plus 40x. 290 plus 40x, yeah. 290 plus 40x. Wow. Running out of space. A little bigger. Okay, uh, Amelia, do the next one. It means this. This digit, what should I put here? Row two, column two. Row two, column two. Two, three, two plus 45 X. Yeah. Two, three, two plus 45 X. Okay, next one, Jin uh, Row three, column one. Eight hundred plus six hundred. Okay. Here, there. Like, this one, eh? Yeah. This this one, eh? Row three, column one. This like this. Eh no, eh two two hundred two hundred. Total two hundred. Eh? Two hundred plus something. <laughs> yeah, what's the answer? Calculate, right? 200 plus 600. Uh, so 800, okay, good. And uh, Emilia, you get to practice one more, right? What is, uh, what is this? What's the last one? So it's row three, column two. Yeah. Row three, column two. Eight three five. Yeah, very good. It's Eight hundred twenty five. Now this question, this this type of matrix multiplication operations, right, is all, all about practice. Uh, so you need to know the operation and how to do it. Okay, so this will be our matrix T. T. Now what is this matrix P T? Sorry, matrix T. Uh, you're actually taking the number of items multiplying by the cost, right? At, at the different shops. Okay, so you get this. Matrix. So the next one, if co and mean both use printer A, mean will pay seventy cents less than co find the value of x. So if co and mean, so where is co and mean? We got to look at our question, right? Co means woman. So the first person, co means woman. <clears throat> okay, co means woman in this sequence. So if co and mean both use printer A, uh, the first column is printer A, right? Let's see, first column, yep, first column is printer A. Right? How do I know that? Because it's from here. Printer A. So find the value. Mean will pay 70 cents less than co. So mean is the second one, uh, 290 plus 40x. Right, so the question now is find the value of x. Can we find the value of x? The answer is yes, right? Because mean is would pay less. So if you take 40, we will take this one, which is 290 plus 40x. Uh, it will be, if we add 70 cents, it will be equal to 800, okay, the amount that co has to pay. So you evaluate this, which is pretty simple. You should get, let me see, x equal to 11, okay? Oh, x equal to 11 here. Next one. Okay, the product, what's the question? Huh? Find the equation of the line PQ.
find the equation of the line PQ it's four marks. Okay, this is not easy. Um, can you try? PM me private message. Must have four feet. Uh. Who get wrong and sing a song? <laughs> Prepare a song. Okay. I can play the music, right? And you can sing the song. Yeah, face Zoom, uh, Zoom can do the, what do you call that? YouTube. Ah, karaoke, yeah. Sing according to the lyrics. Okay, fair enough. Uh, this question is a uh, sec two level. Sec two level question. But, 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 to be fair, to be fair, there's a bit of A math stuff. This one. Okay, the product gradient PQ times gradient AB equal negative one, right? Which you will see in AMAP, but AMAP don't give you the whole thing. Uh, here they give you the equation, uh, so you can apply. Okay, yeah. So those who think AMAP, then you get if you get this wrong, you must sing a song. Uh, you must sing song. <laughs> right. Let me go and find one nice karaoke, karaoke song. Okay, sing a according to the lyrics. Okay, I think you should take about five minutes to do. Find the equation of line PQ. Time living, uh, uh, timing, right? Yeah, four more minutes. Okay, I'm timing, uh, you got four more minutes. Two and a half minutes more to go. Okay, first answer is in. Um. 
Yeah, first answer is correct. Very good. That's two and a half minutes. Anybody stuck? Need me to explain? Last minute, one more minute to go. Okay, second answer is it? Yep. Uh, yep, second answer is correct as well. Last 30 Last five seconds, suddenly oh, one answer came in. Okay, last answer uh, got a bit of error. The, the, I think there's some calculation error somewhere, right? Calculation error somewhere. Okay, so two correct, one wrong. So what we're going to do is we'll go through, okay? So let me just go through this one. I, we take a look at here. Now, first thing we need to do is to find the. Okay. We have to find the, the gradient. Okay, the gradient of this line. So we're going to use the equation y2 minus y1. I mean, the formula over x2 minus x1. Right, which will give us. You can, you can either, I mean, you know, your y2, y1 doesn't matter. Like just make sure you're using the corresponding stuff. Okay, so 1 minus minus 5 divided by minus 2 minus 7. Okay, so if we do that, we will get uh, 1 plus 5 divided by negative 9, which is equal to 6 over negative 9. Now take note this is a downward sloping so I, I can actually reduce this negative oh, negative 2 thirds so it's negative 2 thirds. Now this is the equation of line the AB so we have a we have a we have this thing here right it says the gradient of AB times the gradient of PQ equals to negative 1. So I already have a gradient of AB1, which is 2 over 3, okay? Right, so the gradient of AB is negative 2 over 3, so I can find the gradient of PQ. How do I do that? Just put it into the formula. So PQ times negative 2 third equals to negative 1. So PQ must be equal to 3, okay. You see, if when, when I put it to the other side, 
because here is multiply. So when I when it goes to the other side, right, it will be three over two. So it's three over two negative times negative one, which will give me positive three over two. So the gradient of PQ, right, is positive uh, three over two. Okay, so it's one and a half. So once you have the gradient. Once you have the gradient of this thing, uh, you can plunk it into your, put it into your uh, general formula for, for the line. Okay, what you can do is you can, you can use back this, this idea, okay, which is uh, if you take y, take away 4 over x minus 5, it must give me 3 over 2. Right, it must give me 3 over 2, so I do a cross multiply 2y take away 8 equals 3x minus 15, 2y equals to 3x. Uh, so minus 15 plus 8, uh, so it's minus 7. Right, so we divide by 2, y equals 3 over 2x minus 7 over 2. Okay, so that is the final answer. That is the final answer for this four marks uh, question. Okay, All right. Don't worry. Uh, the person who got it wrong, you got to you, you won't sing a song. Okay, so uh, you have to practice more, right? Because this this is a uh, sec two concept, uh, the equation y equal mx plus c. All right, coordinate geometry. Next one. Okay, th this means must do a lot of 10 series, right? So the more 10 series you do, the better you get at this. Okay, we've got 10 more minutes to go, 7 minutes to be exact. I think we can do this one. Okay, we can play the game again. You can PM me your answer. Oh, I'm blocking the way. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm? Using the plan, find the value of n. So this is map scale. Hey, wait, can you do? One CM is here. Uh, okay, wait, 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 you can't, you can't do this. Sorry, uh, you cannot do this question, why? Because you have to draw, uh, you have to use a ruler to measure. That means you got to take a ruler, you know, in the exam, actual exam, you got to take out a ruler, the scale, right? You got to measure what's this and what's this. Okay, how many CM, how many CM? Here you can't measure. Okay, here you can't measure. So, so never mind, we don't want to do, right? Skip this. Here you actually have to actually measure this thing. <clears throat> so if you measure wrongly, you got parallax error, that's it gone. Okay, I think we can try here, uh, statistics. So which interval contains the median height and what's the estimate of the mean height of the trees? I don't know if you can see this. A bit small. Which one is the median height?
mean height. Uh, you should be able to come up with the median height like quite quickly without much calculation. So you can message me. Calculate okay, estimate the mean height. Mean you got a times the frequency. But you need to know which value to use. Yeah. You need you, you cannot you cannot anyhow use a, a value, right? There's a particular value that you have to use. Okay, see whether you know. Last five minutes. <clears throat> Last question. So these are what we call e math. Uh, look simple, but actually not so easy if you do not know the rules. There are a lot of rules here, right? A lot of nitty pitty rules you need to know, especially when it comes to statistics, right? Statistics like this, like which number to use? Some number cannot use. Yeah. Do you, do you need me to zoom in? Anyone needs me to zoom in? Can send me your answers. Uh, anyone? Any, anyone can don't don't need a PM. I just tell me your answer. What is the interval? Which interval contains the median height? Anyone? Anybody? Air time. You get air time right now. I feel like a DJ because I got this microphone. Using this microphone to reduce the noise, background noise. Okay, uh, just, just give me an answer, anyone. Which interval contains a median height? A, maybe Amelia? Which one is the median height? 140. 140. Then, it's not 140. How about. Um, median height. The rules are the rules of the of median. What do you mean by median? <clears throat> 180. 180. Ah, okay. A, to be to be strict, right? It's not correct. But you got the idea. Uh, you 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 definitely got the idea, right? So let me explain how it works, okay? So, so you see, yeah, uh, there are sixty young trees, right? Sixty. First half of 60 is 30, the median. We should find the 30th or between the, uh, uh, strictly speaking, the 30, 31st. Okay, so where is the 30, 30th, 30th tree? Because median, uh, you got a total of 60, right? So you got to add here, you see this is 4, this is uh, eh? 4, this is 5. So 4 plus 5, 9, then 9 plus 8. <coughs> Yeah, 9 plus 8, 17, 17 plus 11, 28. So the 28 tree is here, which is between 160 and 180. All right? That means the 30th tree will be somewhere here. Right? It falls under this category. Do you understand? It's this category. So you got to count the 30th tree. So 30th tree is at this category, right? So the answer that we want to put in 
it's you have to give the gap, right? So just such a you say 180, not correct, right? It's between 180 to 200. Okay, <clears throat> you gotta give the, the the gap, right? So it's between 180 to 200, so it's here. This histogram. Okay, this this distribution here. So next, calculate an estimate of the mean height. Anyone have answers for this? No? No answer yet. Anyone? Anyone? Want to check your answer? Just tell me your answer. Answer nine. Sorry? Answer nine. One what? One seven nine. Oh one seventy-nine. Uh let's see before. One seven nine is a round off, right? Yeah, one seven nine is fine. The answer is actually one seven eight point six 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 uh, right? So if you get one seventy nine, it's fine. So can you tell me which value did you get? Did you use one hundred times four or hundred twenty times four? Can you tell me which value did you get? Did you use the middle. Very good, very good. Okay. You see, ah, uh, this is a histogram. Now, this type of histogram, the rule is this: uh, you cannot take the small number. You also cannot take the big number. You gotta take the one in the middle. So the middle here is 110. So we take 110 times four. So the first working one one zero times four plus the second one. Yep. Okay, the second one here 130. So one three zero times uh, five. Okay, you get it. You add, 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 add them all together, then you divide by sixty young trees. So here you take 150, here you take 150, take the middle, take 170, 190, 210, 230, right? Always take the middle times the frequency, add them together, divided by 60, you will get an answer which is 178 and about two thirds. So uh, plus or minus a bit, <clears throat> okay? So that is an uh, estimation as to what this this is okay the mean this is the mean so yeah so i'm going to stop here for today um i don't know if you have a lot of homework or not but uh, i do know that because now the virus you probably get a little bit less practice from school do, do you think so do you think you get less practice from school <laughs> like you get less work to do because now it's home-based learning or do you get more work to do more work more work, how come? Uh, home based learning, ma? less work. Uh? <laughs> okay, I, I don't know, right? But uh, I still continue to encourage you to try. Now, now uh, we have a small class here. So if you have any questions that you actually want me to go through, you can uh, feel free to forward to us, okay? And then we can try and go through it. Right? We also have consultation, meaning during the uh, free consult, free one, uh, free consultation. Uh, that means during the morning or uh, before 2 o'clock, usually before 2 o'clock, if you have questions, you can just drop a message to the uh, to the reset, okay? Like, uh, let's say you want to arrange a 30 minutes time slot with me, just drop a message and say that, hey, uh, you know, I would like uh, to arrange a consultation for 30 minutes, right? There are some questions that I do not know how to do. For example, these are the stuff that we went through. You know, today we went through these few questions and Maybe despite going through, right, you still don't understand how to do the question. So, uh, we can arrange a 30 minutes free session, we go through review. Okay, why? Because online, sometimes um, you don't fully understand. Or maybe you go too fast. Or maybe because we are not in your face, so, you know, the information doesn't go into the brain, right? So, we have this extra uh, so-called service, right, that if you need just arrange with us, we will go through la, with you, right? So you don't have to keep your dogs, you know, go to sleep with your dogs. La. Just, just, just clear your dogs, okay? Okay, so uh, that's all for today. Keep safe, everyone. Remember to wear a mask if you're going out, wash your hands, bathe at least two, three times without eating. Remember to bathe before you sleep today. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Even though you never go out, no. But you never know, maybe the virus fly, fly everywhere. Okay, so... <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> okay, hygiene, but it's okay. Lah. I mean, because you didn't go out, you know, it's uh, acceptable. But if you go out, please remember to uh, clean your hands and all this stuff. 
Okay, stay safe, everyone. I'll see you next week. Okay, bye. See you. Bye. Hello. Hello, Ethan. Hmm. Okay, again. So, uh, the two of you are here first. You can just try this first, right? I think. I, I think. Let me zoom out a bit. Uh, just look at these two questions. Okay, here comes the video. Okay. Alrighty. Let's wait for Emily to come, and then I'll start my speech. Okay. Let's see all three of you right there. Hello, can you hear us? Mic test. Okay, very good. Everyone can hear everybody. Okay, uh, so I'm sure you heard about the news that the uh, vectors no more, right? You know vectors? Yay! That's a big yay for me, right? Vectors are. Uh, um, uh, I don't know if it's. Do you, do you find it easy or difficult vectors? I find it troublesome. <laughs> I find it uh, very tedious because there's a lot of steps involved, right? And then it's one of those chapters that if you can see, uh, then it's good, uh, especially the area part. Remember? You know, usually when you do vectors, you have to find the vector thing and then you find the area. So if you are supposed to find the area, or oh, that, that one really is a pain for me because I don't have that visual, what do you call that? Uh, visual Visual, don't know what you call that. That gene, uh, that gene inside me is missing. If I see a triangle, it means it's a triangle, right? I cannot turn around and figure it out as something else. Okay, so uh, I mean, personal for me, I think it's a great thing. I don't know about you, um, but you know, it's out, right? So the other thing uh, for chemistry, you know, is organic chem, right? Yeah. How about physics? Uh, do you know other subjects? Physics, do you know like which topic are they taking out for physics? Did, did any anyone ask the teacher, your school teacher, or did anybody already tell you what topic? Because my JC students, uh, they already know, right? Their, their school has already disseminated the information to them uh, via the teacher. So the teacher has already messaged the student. Okay, so maybe for secondary school, what's going to happen is they will eventually update you all, right? But um, uh, yeah, it could come in, in public or it could be from your teacher, just keep a lookout. But usually they are the last topic of the syllabus. The last topic. Okay, like forget, for example, organic chem is the last one. Factors is like the second last one because the last one is actually probability and statistic, right? So that is uh, gone, that is out of the way. What this means is all vectors, questions, we are not going to do, okay? Uh, I don't, wait, by the way, uh, what are they doing in the HBR right now, may I ask? What is, what is, what is their HBR activity right now? I mean, what is your HBR activity? For math. Anyone? Have you attended math, HBL? Yes, yes. Okay, Amelia, you're the first one to nod your head. Okay, <laughs> so what is the HBL that you're doing now for math? School bus people. Ah, okay, prelim, prelim paper, okay? No, no. Year, me year, okay. okay. How about uh, both, both gentlemen at the top? What topics are you doing now for your HBL? Mathematics? Uh, matrix first. Matrix, yeah. okay, can. Yeah. Matrix, uh, okay. Uh, Ethan, is it the same? Uh, yeah, I think so. Same, you think? Hmm. 
must know, okay? So basically what's happening here is that with the removal of vectors, we're done, okay? Your school should be done as well. There's no more pressure to uh, quickly do the new topic. Lah. But I think your school also finished vectors previously. So uh, yeah, it doesn't matter, okay? So that means now must go full scale into revision. So the good thing for us is that we, are, we have already started on that. So that's a great thing. It's a plus point, definitely. And now what we need to do is to continue our revision effort, okay? It's like the gym. I always use gym as an example because it's the best example you must keep doing, okay? The day you suddenly, if one day you suddenly feel that, hey, I'm very good already in EMATS, right? And then you don't want to do anymore. That's, that's the day where uh, your skill will slowly creep backwards, right? So just, just keep doing. Just keep doing and do what? Uh, do 10 series, right? I think we should be able to do three times, uh, right? <laughs> this year. At the rate that we're doing, we'll do three times. That means 30 years series. Yeah. You'll do a 30. Because each 10 series is 10 years, right? So if you do three times, that's 30 years. Okay? So you're yeah, doing a 30 year series. Okay, let's target that. And then uh, let's let's punch out an A1 for every one of you. Okay? For the O levels. I think that is absolutely possible. Okay, so without further ado, I'm not going to wear these specs anymore. It's been one whole day. Okay, without further ado, uh, yeah, maybe I'll wear it again later. So glaring now. We shall look at question number 12. So this is our 2018. We have done the uh, 2019 paper we're done with that. So we started our 2018 one, which is right here. So what we're going to do is the same as what we have done. You try to give me answer, we check, correct, we move on, if wrong, we will. I will do. Okay, Ken? So this is a inverse proportion question. They are inverse proportion. Both are inverse proportion. Okay, so uh, can we start now? Right, yes. Start to go through. You do first. Let me check answer. Can y'all see? Is it too small, too big, or anything? Because I just changed the size of this thing. My color keep jumping in and out. Yeah. Okay, can you try? Try and give me the answer for this. And then we check. I'm gonna put my specs.
Okay, anybody have anything to share? Answer? Anyone? Uh, sometimes you don't have to use the the direct inverse proportion formula. Okay, you do, you don't necessarily have to use the y equal k over x thing. Okay, you can just uh, do it using normal comparison or um, I mean I would use a normal comparison for the twelve a four workers take seventeen point five hours. Do you know? Do you know? Wait, wait, wait. This is serious, right? Do you know? 12A? You know? Okay, what's the answer, Amelia? 14. Yay! 14 is correct. Where's my pen? Okay. 14 is correct. Okay, uh, did everyone get 14 for this? 14? Yes. Okay, everyone get 14. That's great. Then how about B? What would your answer be for B? Uh, Amelia? I don't know. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. Two marks, oh. two precious marks. Oh. You see, the problem with not uh, mm. being tested for vector uh, is that uh, now other topics will have more weightage. Uh. I, 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 I'm really not sure how, how they go and uh, how they're going to amend the exam paper. Okay, so we have no idea. All right, but uh, the, this year, your 10 series will have no vectors. Right. Next year, I will be telling the story. Eh? Like, this year, 2020, no vectors, right? But doesn't mean your year don't have uh, okay, the story of no vectors. Okay, B, anyone have answer for this? Maybe we ask Ethan. Ethan. Hey, no more barber already, you know? You know what's going to happen? All your hair become as long as a million. <laughs> For me, no issue. Uh. I don't have a lot of hair, right? So I'll be fine. But all of you, uh, that's it. Right? Unless you cut yourself. Do you cut your own hair? No? Okay. Uh, how about Ethan? Do you cut your own hair? Okay, don't be surprised, right? My friend cuts his own hair for the past 20 years. He hasn't visited the barber. So he cuts his own hair. He's a pilot. He flies airplane one, right? So I, I, I'm like, oh, why you want to cut your own hair? See, I don't know. It's just a habit, right? He likes to cut his own hair. Okay, so it be, and anyway, it's fine because uh, most of the time he's uh, he's a pilot, ma, so he wear helmet all the time. <laughs> so even if he cut his hair and it's ugly, nobody can tell. Okay, because he's wearing a helmet most of the time. Okay, so yeah, what's going to happen? One month, no bubble. Everyone will have super long hair. Look forward to seeing how long your hair is in one month's time. Okay, unless you cut your own hair. You see, your hair is really pretty long, ah. Uh. As I see, Ethan, Ethan want the wanted fringe very long, right? Uh, you also very long fringe, uh. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Now, now nobody will catch. See, touch the nose, wow. Ethan one, I I guess, touch mouth already. <laughs> huh? Have a man. You know they like to curl all the way up, all the way. Then actually, when you bring it down. Or well, it's somewhere here, touch your mouth, right? So end of the month, we'll definitely be able to eat your own hair after one month of no barber, no hairdresser also. Okay, okay so uh, how about Jian Yu? Any answer for B? I, I got a decimal. You got a decimal. It's fine. The answer is a decimal. 30.6. Yeah, you're correct. Okay, 30.6 is correct, right? So... You know what happens, uh, you know the bell curve thing? Bell curve, uh, now if everyone gets this wrong, let me just give you an example. If everyone gives, gets this wrong, uh, then, then, then it's fine. You understand? Bell curve will say, ah yeah, it's question too difficult, uh, never mind. Okay, we will forgive all, all those who got it wrong. But then, because Jian Yi got this correct, then the two of you got this wrong. He gets the A1. You understand? That's how the bell curve works. Or he gets the pass, uh, then you all don't get a pass. It's just, just one example. Okay, if everybody gets it correct, it's fine. But then if someone knows how to do and then you don't know how to do, 
uh, somehow the bell curve will shift to his favor, right? But it will be against you. Okay, the bell curve will shift against you. So this one's gonna. This is what happens most of the time for the uh, EMF uh, at the O level because most of the questions are easy, and then if you don't know how to do, it will it will the bell curve will shift against you. It will work against your favor. So the best thing is to just uh, get everything correct. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to go through this one. Okay, so the force F between two objects is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Now, if you have gotten this, uh, let me see, uh, F. F is uh, equals to K over D, the square of the distance. So it's D squared. Okay, okay. So that would be the first thing that you need to do. So next, the distance between two objects is increased by 20%. So here comes the difficult part. When it's increased by 20%, the distance between two objects is increased by 20%. What happens to D? What happens to D? Increased by 20%, D will become 1.2 D. Okay, so 100% increase 20% is 0 0.2. So from one hole becomes 1.2. Got it? One hole becomes 1.2. So F equals to, so this is what we call the old, old F. Old F, right? We want to find the new, new F. New one, huh? we will let the N, uh, it's just K divided by, 1.2 d bracket square okay k equals 1.2 d square so uh what do we do we just evaluate uh, let's continue right so f new it's okay 1.2 square is 1.44 so calculator 1.2 square and we have done a lot of this already so we should be pretty good at this okay Okay, so k over uh, 1.44 d squared. And uh, I want to take out the 1.44 is 1 out of 1.44 times k out of d squared. Now, why do I want to do this? Because I want to isolate this, this thing because this is our old f. The k over d square is our o f. So, um, so what happens here is that the old f has changed by one divided by one point four four. Okay, so I can don't continue. That means my my working just a bit like that because I now I know it's one divided by one point four four. By one point four four calculator. Okay, so if I take one divided by 1.44, right, I get a decimal of 0 0.6944. Okay, what does this mean? So previously is one, so now become 0 0.69. So then the question is, what is the percentage reduction? One more time, huh? in case you don't know what this means. Now it becomes 0 0.694. Do you hear the baby shark? I hear that every day. <laughs> At least few hours, right? I go crazy. Eh? Do, 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 do every day. Yeah, so y'all need to do. Because I hear that do, do, do. That's why I make y'all do. <laughs> okay? Do, 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 do. Okay, so you see, this is 0 0.694. Previously is one. Previously this is one. Now is zero point six nine four. So what is the reduction? They want the reduction. That means we take one whole minus zero point six nine four. We get one minus zero point six nine four. Is it zero point three point three zero six? Okay. Right, but this is not percentage. They want percentage, huh? So what do we do? That's 100, 
So it's 30.6%. That's it. You understand how it works? All right, so that's, this is a typical question. I can almost guarantee you, uh, yeah, prelim will have this, uh, this uh, mm, exam, O level, I think you have this as well, right? I mean, I think we should know how to do. This type must know how to do, okay? Continue, next. Okay, factorization. Hey, can I make it? Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, lah, do for two first, lah, right? Factorize these two. Okay, so this should be pretty easy, right? Hey, let's have uh, TNG. Do you have an answer for it? Uh, you gave the answer already, right? Uh, like Ethan, 13A. What's the answer for 13A? 2PQ. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. 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 Okay, next one, uh, how about B? Uh, Ethan again, B. Uh, 3x minus 1 bracket plus mm. 2x minus, I uh, 2xy plus 1. Yeah, 2xy plus 1. Very good. Okay, now y'all should be experts in algebra, right? All this stuff uh, should make you happy. Uh. You see this, are you happy? Question 13. Ah, uh, very good. Uh. All nodding your head, very good, okay? You must be, ah, score point, okay? All these are point scoring stuff. Okay, what is this? Find the number of sides of the polygon. Okay, let me move my head out of the way. 
Okay, we have one interior angle of each of three regular polygons. One, two, three. The three polygons fit together at O. A is a square and C is a regular hexagon. Okay, find the number of sides of B. Do you know the formula? Uh, Amelia? Okay. <laughs> uh, can 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 tell me what's the formula? Sum of interior. What is the formula for sum of interior? It starts with an N. You must minus something. Minus two. Ah, N minus two then times what? 180. Yeah, very good. Okay, sum of interior goes N minus two times 180. Okay, n minus 2 times 180. That is the formula for the sum of interior. But how does that help us? Because we have a hexagon. So C is a hexagon. Hexagon means six, six sides. Okay, so the first thing you do is to find what is that angle C. You must find that angle C. Because only after you find the angle C, then you can find B. After you find B, then you can do the reverse and to find polygon B, right? Can you please do that now? How many sides does polygon B have? Anyone? <laughs> it's fine right we love music i love music right i've been um i was in the band right in case you didn't know i was in the band but i suck at playing <laughs> i'm not ashamed to say that right i'm really bad at playing music okay uh, up to set four, uh, I still don't know how to do the fingering, you know. So I will memorize. Yeah, I memorize everything. I memorize all the pieces. That means uh, whatever things they say, the instructor say, okay, say, okay, play this piece. I will. I don't need to look at the the the, the what do you call that the song sheet. I'll just yeah. That's how it works for me. <laughs> Thank 
sounds like a uh, hotel, you know, the lounge. <laughs> yeah, hotel lounge. They're all closed now. <laughs> so you got one right at home. Reminds me of the hotel lounge. But she must play continuously, la, okay? Tell her, don't stop. Continue the dung 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 What's that? Western tune. Okay, anyone? Anyone has the uh, formula? I mean, the answer for 14? Uh, Ethan. Let's try Ethan. Or Amelia. Anyone? 12. 12 is correct. Very good. N equals to 12. Okay, anyone needs me to go through? Why N equals to 12? Nobody. Great. Today my job is looks quite easy. Next one, question number 13. Okay. 15, sorry, 15. Uh, total number of students. Yeah, this one okay also. Uh. Right, all these, but this four marks, eh? Why four marks? Uh? Is it very difficult? Can you take a look? This question is four marks. Four percent strange. Take a look.
Okay, everyone, anyone wants to check anything? Uh, obviously here we need to use algebra, okay? Because there are some unknowns. Like for example, you can let X be the number of males in a group. Uh, and then the number of female would be X plus four. So that is one way of doing it. Uh, if you want, you can use guess and check. <laughs> I think it's going to take a while, All right? Guess and check. That means you guess the number of people. Almost very difficult uh, to guess and check, okay? Anyone have answer? This is not easy. But using algebra should be quite okay, right? Anyone answer? Answer? Anyone wants to risk their reputation by giving me the answer? <laughs> if it's wrong, then I'm like, oh, you got it wrong. Then everyone will, oh, yo, you don't know how to do this one. Uh, it's the, the stakes are very high, you know. Embarrassment. Uh, please say expression. Uh, this one. Hey, why, why my screen like that? Uh? It's a bit weird. Uh. Must shift around. Okay. Anyone wants to risk? The reputation of getting wrong. Okay, it looks like Jin Yi got one answer, but he don't want to say it. he don't want to risk his reputation. Correct. Uh, Jin Yi, do you have an answer, Jin Yi? <laughs> why? Uh, why you don't want to check lah? Uh, check answer is okay. Twenty-eight. Huh? What? Twenty-eight. What? You got twenty-eight. The number of students is twenty-eight. Yeah, it's correct lah. Uh. <laughs> Yes, it's correct, it's 28, okay? Um, okay, now, 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 okay, I want to talk about a bit about um, embarrassment or what, like, all right? It's normal to feel embarrassed, right? Like very shy, don't want to share and so this. It's perfectly normal. It took me 30 years to get rid of this embarrassment. Uh, I think I told you before, when I was secondary school, I was the, the most shy if I got a, if there was a trophy for the most shy person award, that would be me. Okay, I will always sit at a corner, I always sit far away, I will never raise my hand, I will never answer a single thing, unless the teacher forced me to, and even after they forced me to, I will still find ways to run away from it, okay? I don't know if that's you, if that's you, uh, if that describes you, <laughs> then then you, you are fine, okay? You are, because I was like that. But the key thing is uh, was. So what happened? Uh, why did I not become like that anymore? It's because of army, okay? Went through army. It changes people. I realized that it's not a big deal, all right? Even if you get it wrong, it's fine. It's not a big deal. You get stuff wrong, it's fine. It's not a big deal, right? Don't think too much about it. So even if you get it wrong, it's okay. Just do again, nah. it's not the uh, old level, right? Okay, so did y'all get 28? This one? This uh, check with Amelia and uh, Ethan. You might should get 28. Okay, awesome. Ethan, no, all right, so it's fine. Okay, it's okay. Why am we all learning now? Ma? Now, uh, Ethan, I won't go through the entire thing, but I'll just give you the equation. Uh, you see, we let X, let's say we let X be the number of male equals to number of males. This type of question must use algebra to solve, okay? If x is the uh, equals to the number of mil, what is the total height? Okay, so we can come up with an equation. Okay, the equation is, uh, where was this? Okay, the number of female, let's do step by step. Female is x plus four, right? So the mean height of female is 162, which means if I take 162 times, x plus 4 and um, the okay the mean height of the group is 171 uh, right i want to find the total what's the total height right so uh, total height of female plus total height of male which is uh, 183x should be equal to 171 times x plus 4 plus x plus four. Okay, so that is the that is the equation, right? So I'm not gonna solve this. I believe you should be able to solve this thing. Okay, just find x. 
and you will get x equals to 28. Alright? Next. This question 16. Wow. This is another one. Another four marks question. Find the value of theta. Okay, it's another algebra, right? Do you know the formula to find the uh, the minor sector arc length? Formula for arc length. R theta. Okay, arc length equal R theta. R times theta, right? Equals to arc length. Because here they talk about the parameter. Parameter would be the whole thing uh, from here. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. It's here. Let me include the radius, okay? Parameter. The parameter of the major is twice the parameter of the minor. So the minor is the blue color thing that I just uh, highlighted over there. Okay? Okay, let's try this. Okay, any answers, anyone, for this? Uh, this uh, Amelia? Amelia or Ethan? No, no answer, okay. Uh, then Ethan? No, so. Jay? Oh. Yeah? 2.094. Wait, what did you say? 2.094. Two, uh, two, uh, two wrong. Uh. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Reputation go down. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I'm just kidding, one, okay? Just kidding. Uh. You know, you know what's one way? Uh yeah, never mind. Uh. Don't talk too much. Okay. Uh don't worry, uh. I'm just kidding. Most of the time I'm just kidding, okay? Don't don't let your self-esteem be hurt by whatever I say. Uh I don't really mean a lot of stuff. Uh wrong, never mind, okay? Now wrong, never mind. I'll make sure you know how to do uh, during the exam. Okay, so let me go through, right? So we have a circle with radius r. 
the circle is divided into two. <coughs> so you have the the major sector and the minor sector, right? Parameter of the major is this, parameter of minor is that, find the value. Okay. Now, first thing is because this is radian, a you need to know this side, the, the other side. Now the small one, the small oops, minor arc is theta. What about the major arc? Can you tell me what's the what's the angle for the major arc? What's the angle for the major arc? It's two pi minus theta. Here is two pi minus theta. Okay, the other side, huh? the angle, right? Two pi minus the y. Pi radian, you, you need to know the conversion, okay? Pi radian equals 180 degrees. Pi radian is 180 degrees. So if uh, it's 360 degrees, is equal to 2 pi, right? So if this side is theta, this side uh, is 2 pi minus theta. Because 2 pi is 360, so 2 pi minus theta will become this side. Okay, so that's the first thing that you need to know. Okay, this one you need to know 2 pi 360, uh, pi radian is 180, right? So you minus, you get this. So what is the usefulness of that? Because we know r theta, arc length because r theta, and uh, they give us this one, the parameter of the major is twice the parameter of minor. So we can find the, if we take r theta times two, right? We, so two times of r theta plus two r, this is the minor sector. This is the minor sector. R theta is this, this, this curve. 2R is this one plus this one, okay? So two R, twice the small one is equal to one time of the big one. So what is one time of the big one? R times two pi minus theta plus to R. Okay, so this is the big, the major sector. This is the major sector. This is a minor sector. Twice the minor sector equals to the major sector. Got it? So if you didn't get this equation, uh, you wouldn't be able to solve. Uh, you, you can't find theta because theta is the unknown here. Okay? Theta is the unknown. Of course, you will say, hey, but there's the thing that there's an R. Ma. Later, the R will disappear. You can divide the whole thing by R, right? So what do we do? Let's try to solve this. Two times of everything. So we, we rainbow in, right? It's two R theta plus four R equals to two pi R minus theta R plus two R. Okay, so can you see that every one of the term has R? It's R here, R here, R here, R here, R, 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 so many R's. So what can we do? Divide everything by R. And we will have a very clean equation that looks like this. Two theta plus four equals to two pi minus theta plus two. Okay? See that? So so it it's it looks much better, okay, without the R. So we only have one unknown. Then how about the pi? Now the pi we can use a calculator uh, pi or we can just leave it first, right? And then see what happens. So what I want to do is to shift all the theta here. Theta becomes like a algebra alphabet, right? So left side becomes three theta is equal to two pi plus two minus four. Three theta equals to two pi uh, minus two. All right, so theta equals to two pi minus two divided by three. Okay, so what is our wait, calculator? Huh? What is our pi? <coughs> two times three point one.
Yep. Wait, uh, this is a tree. Tree. Oh no, cannot see. Wait, wait, sorry. Okay, it's a tree. Right? So eventually we'll get theta soft theta equals to one point four about one point four three. Okay. That's it. So minor stuff, right? Now this question, uh, I, I bet with you, uh, more than half of the students will get it correct. Okay, so if you didn't get it correct, uh, bell curve, uh, right? The bell curve will be against you. More than half. Why? Uh, later I show you, okay? The uh, CHIJ, what type of questions they are doing. It's so difficult, I also don't know how to do. O levels, right? O level e -math. I just stuck at that thing. Maybe y'all can help me solve. <laughs> it's one late, later, right? Maybe in about the last 15 minutes, right? You take a look at that question. Okay, those are the stuff that they practice. Now, uh, do we necessarily have to practice all of those? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe towards the end after June, right? If you want, you know, when we are very good with hair series, then you want to do a bit more. I think we can do that. But right now what we do is we focus on our our day job. This is our day job, okay? Then series is your job. We make sure you do our job well. Then after that we will uh go to do moonlighting. That means do a bit more difficult stuff. Okay, but I can show you, right? Uh basically what they're doing now, they're doing all the 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 crazy questions. HBL, huh? It's a HBR, huh? so the student just gave me all, all, all her questions. I'm like, wow, are you sure you're supposed to finish everything in one and a half hour? I'm like, that's not possible. Okay, it's too difficult. All right, later we can take a look. But now we're gonna do this. Okay, now any questions on this particular question? Yes. Why, why like the first part, right? Mm. You put all times. 2 pi minus theta. R times 2 pi minus theta. Where? The first Which part. Line? First part. Which line? Oh, you mean here? Inside the circle, is it? No, the one below. Here. 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 Yeah. This, this one. Why 2 pi minus theta? Okay, now we need to go back to our formula. What's, what is, okay, I use highlighter, right? What is the formula for this? To find the highlighter part. The formula to find the highlighter part is, uh, wait, uh, the formula to find high, highlighter part is R theta. R times theta. Okay, that, that's, that's, this side. Now what is the formula to find the other side, green color? Green color one, eh? The formula for the green color one is R times 2 pi minus theta. Is that? This blue one is r theta, green one r times 2 pi minus theta. Then why is it 2 pi minus theta? It's because the angle here is 2 pi minus theta. That's all. Intense con focus. <laughs> Ignore the 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 dung 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 you know. Okay, do you understand? I can explain again, no worry. The the arc length, the formula for arc length, you gotta take the radius times the angle. So to find the green color, I take the radius times this big angle. Radius times angle is the formula to find the, the arc that that curve that is all 
multiply plus 2r, that is to add the uh, two radiuses, okay? Right? Okay, okay. Let's continue. Okay. Oh, yeah, so this should be quite easy. Vector don't do, right? So we just do fraction 17. Well, another four marks. Uh. Why, why are they so... Do not generous, you know. Okay, let's take a look. By the way, who watches the 9 pm show? Someone said you all watch the 9 pm show. Right? Yeah. And you say it's a comedy, is it? It's not a comedy, eh? I mean, I was like, hey, got comedy, I go and watch. Then, huh? What? It's about three, three women. It's about three women, right? Is that the one you're watching? Why yeah. got comedy? Hello. <laughs> God, uh, you watch. <laughs> I watch the thing, like, hey, how come so sad one? Uh? The <laughs> That's it. I thought someone said it's a comedy. Then, no, it's not a comedy. Uh. It's like a empowering woman show, you understand? Empowering. That means, uh, in the story, they uh they lost their husband or something, right? One lost the husband, then one is a taxi grab grab driver, then the other one is a single mom. Yeah, it's the empowering women show lah, not comedy uh. or what? maybe I didn't catch the comedy part. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't look like comedy to me. Are we are we watching the same show? Yes. <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't catch the comedy part. Right, so I just watched for like 10 minutes and then I like, where I got comedy? Then I don't watch it. <laughs> right, maybe the other parts are com com humorous. Hey, wait, uh, can I ask your brother, is he at home now? NS brother? Oh, yeah, yeah. As in, he doesn't need to go NS anymore. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. No, 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 as in you see him every day, right? Yeah. That means he don't need to go NS, oh, he damn lucky, oh. Yeah, he's not special. Huh? Yeah, yeah. special yeah. because of the COVID-19. Ah. Now no, he two his, months. His one is different. What, what do you mean his one is different? I don't ask you. You want, you want to ask me? Good. No need, no need. It's okay. It's okay. okay. I just like ask Miss Joyce. Uh. Huh? Ask Miss Joyce? What do you mean? Yeah, she, that day she talked to him, I think. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. I asked. No, yeah. Yeah, but 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 now he turn. Being NS at home, he served NS at home. I said he served NS at home. Right? That, that's, did you hear? He served NS at home. Yeah. Okay, that's the best thing. Ma. Just stay at home, watch Netflix every day. Two months of NS gone like that. And he gets paid. Right? He gets paid to watch Netflix. How else? How how best can it be? Okay. Gets paid to watch Netflix.
Okay, it then looks like you're done, is it? Okay, can you give us the answer? Let me check. What did you get um, for this? Square root two uh -huh. plus b y over y minus one. Okay, very good. It's correct. Plus minus. Okay, square root three plus a y. Okay, uh, three plus a y over y minus one. X equal. Correct. So that is correct. Awesome. Four marks, eh? So easy, right? So uh, your algebra, you got to be very good, right? All our algebra, we got to keep practicing algebra. Uh, any questions for 17? No? Awesome. Let's move on. 18, don't do. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Skip vectors. Okay, statistics. Stem and leaf. Okay, what is the median mass? Let's have Amelia can answer on the spot. Uh. What's the, the median? The one in the middle. Yeah, but what's the answer? Uh? Are you able to see? Is it too small? Wow. Okay, there are 30 apples. What's the median mass of apple? Apples is the one on the left hand side, okay? Left hand side. So there are 30 of them. Where's the median of 30? Median of 30. 15. 15. Uh, no. You, can, you cannot take the 15th one because it's an even number. You got to take the 15 plus the 16, then divide by 2. The 15 plus the 16, then divide by 2. So which one is the 15 and the 16? Okay, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1, 2, 3. Medium mass. Wait, wait. 15 and a half. Wait, which one do you get? 1, 2, 1. Eh, what? 2 slash 9 means 92. 92, 95. Okay, yeah. Uh, what are the two numbers that you get? Uh, Amelia, which two numbers did you use? Which, which one is 15 and 16? 127 and uh, 129. Yeah, very good. So 127, this one, uh, this two. Okay, 127, 129, right? So the, the halfway basically is 128, uh, middle. Next, let me again. What is the range of masses for the banana? If the range is 44 grams, find X. The range is 44. So what is X? So you must find the minimum, right? The minimum is this guy.
Hey, Amelia, do you know how to do this? The range is 44. The smallest number is 103. So what is X? X is the largest number. So how do I find the largest number? Uh, so you need to know what's the meaning of range. Range means smallest to the biggest is 44. The smallest number to the largest number is, it has a gap of 44, right? So we take a plus 44. Right, then 103 plus 44 uh, is 147. So this must be 7. Okay, because the largest number is 147. So x has to be 7. Is it okay? So x is 7. Okay, make two uh, comments comparing the mass of the apples and the bananas. Right, so apple banana comparison. Uh, okay, which one is... Okay, we can say that the range of bananas is smaller, the range of apples is larger. Okay, so which one is... Do, do we have a... Which one is heavier or which one is lighter? Is it the banana or the apple? Median, you can find median, right? So median is 25, is 1, 2, 3, 12. Uh, yeah, so apples are heavier than banana. What else? Apples, larger mass. Bananas, more consistent. Okay, so these are possible answers la, to put. Okay, next. This one is tested. Okay, wow, well, this one typical question. You must know how to do. Okay, you see this all the time. Huh? Those people want to have questions. Alright, can you try? Three of these.
Okay, time to check, see how we're doing. Uh, the first one I can just write out for you, I think it's pretty easy. <coughs> first one is uh, the product is 2 times 3 squared times 7, right? You can use whatever method, just use a calculator to work it out, it's fine. Now the perfect square thing is bugging, if it's been bugging you all this time, uh, it's time to get it correct. Okay, so what is the positive value of k? We should get 14. Do you get k equals 14 for this one? Okay, okay, yes, yes. Okay, uh, so you do. Uh. Okay, next C. Anyone needs me to go through B? Perfect square, no need, right? Okay, x per uh, C. x is a number between 200 and 300. The highest common factor of x and 1, 2, 6 is... 21, find the smallest possible, the highest common factor. Okay, so you can, you can, this is work backwards, right? Let me see what's up here. 231, wow, do you get this? 231. Answer is 231. Smallest possible value of x. The highest common factor of x, uh, I will use the index notation method. Okay, let me uh, let me go through this one. Two, three, one. So uh, we got one, two, six, two, three, square, seven, two, three, square, seven. So one, two, six equals two times three square times seven. This one is six. So uh, 21, which is the HCF, okay, wait, uh, HCF, HCF, highest common factor is 21. So 21 is actually 3 times 7, right? 3 times 7. Now I have X. X is a number between 200 and 300, okay? So, uh, but the thing is that the HCF between the two of them has to be x, uh, has to be 3 times 7. So, so what I need is, I need to find out what are the possible combination. Now, if HCF is 3 and 7, what does it mean? It means that, um, you remember, you know, if I want to find HCF, what I need to do is to find the lowest, the lowest power, right? I need to choose the lower the one with the lowest power. Um, do you know what I'm talking about? The reverse, uh, right? Because I want to find HCF, right? Highest common factor. I need to find the one with the lowest power. So this means that the, let me see. There has to be a three here. That's common. There has to be a, um, a seven here as well. And this power must be one, right? This one also must be one. Of course, this this cannot be two because if this is two, then um, this will be two. Now, can this be two? Yes, this one can be two, right? But if this is two, wait, uh, I will choose this. If I choose three, if it's two, now if I choose two, so that's like three times seven times seven, right? It's only 98, it's still not enough. Three times seven times seven times seven becomes 1000 plus, so cannot, right? What if I were to add a two here? I cannot add two here because you can see the cursor, right? If I add a two here, then here we have a two. You got it? If I put a 2 here, we have 2, so I cannot put 2. How about uh, I put 5? Can, right? If I put 5, I'll have 3 times 5 times 7. 3 times 5 times 7 is 105. 3 times 5 times 5 times 7. I Too much already, right? So I cannot put 5 also. So what's the next best number? 3, 7, uh, next, next prime number after 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm going to put 11. Okay, so if I put 11, 
I get 3 times 7 times 11. It's 231. Okay. Do you, do you follow the logic? Trial and error. Try, trial and error. It's a bit of trial and error here for this uh, particular question. Okay. Try and error. Okay. Uh, I know I told you I want to try the other question, right? The one the same strategy, but I couldn't get it to load, right? It's taking too long to load, so I don't want to go there. I'm just going to continue from here. Okay. I'm opening up. I just opened up another window. Uh, I couldn't load the thing. Okay, so let's just continue our tennis series, uh, right? And unless you know, at the last minute, it's able to load. Okay, give me a minute. This is another four marks question. It's twenty eighteen. So the points, these two. Now this is coordinate geometry. Okay, this is not vector. So it's tested. Coordinate geometry is still tested. So use an algebraic method to find the values of A and B.
Okay, uh, do you know how to start this question? No idea. Okay, you need to substitute this uh, x, y, x, y uh, into the equation. So, for example, the first set of x, y, y, oops, okay, uh, let me substitute the first one. 11 equals to a times minus 2 squared plus minus 2 plus 3. Okay, so this is the first, first minus 2 and 11. Substitute inside, I get 11 equals 4a minus 2b plus 3. So bring the 3 the other side, um, 11 minus 3, 8 equals 4a minus 2b. We call this equation 1. Then uh, next one, substitute x equal 4, y equal minus 1. So minus 1 equals to a 4 square plus 4b plus 3. Okay, x equals to 4, y equals to minus 1. So minus 1 equals to 16a plus 4b plus 3. Equation number two. Okay, so you see that we have a simultaneous equation, and that is an algebraic method. So once you have the simultaneous, you set up two a minus yeah. What? Yeah, you set up this uh, simultaneous equation. You can solve the the a and b lah. Right. So uh, this is again another example of a non-routine question, non-routine O-level question. It has evolved, right? A lot of the uh, questions has evolved. Um, then how do you know how to solve? You can, uh, there's no fixed way uh, to tell you how it's done because they didn't specify is it you know, they, they didn't specify exactly what it is, right? You just need to do. And eventually you will find the, uh, let me see, uh, A equal half B equal minus 3. Okay, A equals to half, B equals to negative 3 for this question. Okay, uh you can you can work on this. I think we can stop here for now. Right, because the next one, let me see here. Uh, uh, you can just copy this first, right? By the way, do you have this you have these exam papers, right? Have right. That means, uh, I mean, in, in your tennis series. Do you have the physical tennis series with you? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, everyone, yes. All right, so you can go and take a look and see how it's done. Um, better still, if you have time, um, you don't need to tell us whether you're doing it. Just, just, just go and do more of the tennis series. Okay, especially if you're like me, very shy. Uh. Last time, I very shy. I don't tell people I do extra work I know. I will secretly go and do it, right? So it's okay. Just go and do uh, extra work yourself, okay? Go and do all this. I can guarantee you it works, okay? It, it will improve, you will improve by leaps and bounds, okay? If you haven't been doing especially. So it's the same for all your other subjects, okay? Go and uh, 
continue to do I encourage you I encourage you to continue to do the ten series. You will gain confidence. You will um, uh, improve like your grades, right? It doesn't matter whether you really like math or not. It doesn't matter whether you really like chemistry or not. Because this is the cheat code, C H E A T C O D E, right? Cheat code to getting your A one. Just do a lot of tennis series, you will get A1. Okay, unless you don't want A1. Who doesn't want to get A1? <laughs> Anyone don't want to get A1? It's like, I hate A1, I don't want to get A1. I just want to get an A2. Okay, if you just want to get A2, just also need to do tennis series. Okay, just make sure uh, you don't score all correct. Right. Anyone don't want to get A? No, right? Everybody wants to get A. Okay? It's just like you ask all adults, do you want the government to give you free money? Everyone says yes. Okay? But do you want to work hard to get money? Everyone is like, huh, huh, must work hard, then can get money. Uh, uh. Okay? Everyone will say no. Right? So it's the same with, uh, with, with that analogy, right? You work hard, you will get your grades. You don't work hard, you won't get your grades. Okay? Uh, it works for all levels. I can't say the same for A levels or poly, right? It's a different ball game for JC and uh, poly. But but I guarantee you, all level it works, right? Your um, okay. I'm not so sure about languages, uh, but science and math, no problem. Okay, hard work can be not clever. Okay, like me, uh, not clever one, uh, but just do hard, use hard work can get A one. Okay. Right, so with that, um, I will end today's lesson. Any final questions? No, no final question. Then that's all. I see you. Goodbye. Thanks for attending. I'm going to show you the ACE logo. We. Okay. Goodbye, people. Bye.